elephant shrews, or jumping shrews, are small insectivorous mammals native to Africa, belonging to the family Macroslididae, in the order Macroslidea, whose traditional common English name comes from a fancy resemblance between their long noses and the trunk of an elephant, and an assumed relationship with the shrews, family Sauricidae, in the order Insectivora. Nonetheless, Elephant shrews are not classified with the superficially similar true shrews, but are ironically more closely related to elephants and their kin within the newly recognized Afrotheria. The biologist Jonathan Kingdon has proposed they instead be called Singes, a term derived from the Bantu languages of Africa. They are widely distributed across the southern part of Africa, and although common nowhere, can be found in almost any type of habitat, from the Namib Desert to boulder-strewn outcrops in South Africa to thick forest. One species, the North African elephant shrew, remains in the semi-arid, mountainous country in the far northwest of the continent. Characteristics Elephant shrews are small, quadrupedal, insectivorous mammals resembling rodents or opossums, with scaly tails, elongated snouts, and rather long legs for their size, which are used to move in a hopping fashion like rabbits. They vary in size from about 10 cm to almost 30 cm, from just under 50 grams to over 500 grams. The short-eared elephant shrew has an average size of 150 mm, 5.9 in. Although the size of the trunk varies from one species to another, all are able to twist it about in search of food. Their lifespans are about two and a half to four years in the wild. They have large canine teeth, and also high crown cheek teeth like those of ungulates. Although mostly diurnal and very active, they are difficult to trap and very seldom seen. Elephant shrews are wary, well camouflaged and adept at dashing away from threats. Several species make a series of cleared pathways through the undergrowth and spend their day patrolling them for insect life. If disturbed, the pathway provides an obstacle-free escape route. Elephant shrews are not highly social animals, but many live in monogamous pairs, which share and defend a home territory they mark using scent glands. Rhynchocyon species also dig small conical holes in the soil, bandicoot style, but others may make use of natural crevices, or make leaf nests. Short-eared elephant shrews inhabit the dry steppes and stone deserts of southwestern Africa. They can even be found in the Namib Desert, one of the driest regions of the earth. Females drive away other females while males try to ward off other males. Although they live in pairs, the partners do not care much for each other and their sole purpose of even associating with the opposite sex is for reproduction. Social behaviors are not very common and they even have separate nests. The one or two young are well developed at birth, they are able to run around just a few hours after birth. Female elephant shrews undergo a menstrual cycle similar to that of human females citation needed, and the species is one of the very few non-permit mammals to do so. The elephant shrew mating period lasts for several days. After mating, the pair will return to their solitary habits. After a gestation period varying from 45 to 60 days, the female will give birth to litters of one to three young several times a year. The young are born relatively well developed, but remain in the nest for several days before venturing outside. After five days, the young's milk diet is supplemented with mashed insects, which are collective and transported in the cheek pouches of the female. The young then slowly start to explore their environment and hunt for insects. After about 15 days, the young will begin the migratory phase of their lives, which lessens the dependency of the young on their mother. 
The young will then establish their own home ranges, about one square kilometer, and will become sexually active within 41 to 46 days. Feeding Habits Elephant shrews mainly eat invertebrates, such as insects, spiders, centipedes, millipedes, and earthworms. An elephant shrew uses its nose to find prey and uses its tongue to flick small food into its mouth, much like an anteater. Eating large prey can pose somewhat of a challenge for an elephant shrew. For example, a giant elephant shrew struggling with an earthworm must first bend its prey to the ground with a forefoot. Then, turning its head to one side, it chews pieces off with its cheek teeth, much like a dog chewing a bone. This is a sloppy process, and many small pieces of worm drop to the ground, these are simply flicked up with a tongue. Some elephant shrews also feed on small amounts of plant matter when available, especially new leaves, seeds, and small fruits. Evolution A number of fossil species are known, all of them from Africa. They were separate from the similar appearing order Leptictida. A considerable diversification of macroslids occurred in the Paleogene. Some, such as Myothorax, were so similar to Hyraxes, they were initially misidentified as belonging to that group, while others, such as Myelomagal, were relatively rodent-like. These unusual forms all died out by the Pleistocene. Although macroslids have been classified with many groups, often on the basis of superficial characteristics, considerable morphological and molecular evidence now indicates placing them within Afrotheria, probably close to the base of Penunculata.